Hello, and today I'll be showing you how to uh, make your menu in RPG Maker XP uh, extended so that there are more options in the menu itself and uh, how to take out some of the stuff like the gold and the walking time and uh, stuff like that. So just open up your RPG Maker and uh, go to your project or a new one. Then go to the script editor, scroll down to scene menu. So when you open it up, you'll see that in the beginning you'll get S1 to S6, these commands here. So let's say we want to add uh, three more options to the to the menu. Let's just uh, after the status. Let's put the save in the end in the uh, on the bottom. So you just go to status and you click enter. Now since they're already one through six there, we'll have to call this one S seven equals. Put the quotation marks there, and uh, let's call this a journal. And uh, yeah, then we can make another one call S8 and let's say you wanna know your party or uh, who uh, like switching the characters in and out the party and uh, S9 uh, let's say you wanna load a game but you don't wanna go all the way back to the menu so let's just make a sh so like a shortcut for load so then uh, you have these new extra ones, but they're not going to do anything in the game and probably give you an error right away. So now what you're going to do is come down here and you'll see S1, S2, S3, all the way to 6. So then we look at the order here. So it goes from 1 to 4 and then we have 7, 8, 9 and then 5 and 6. So we 1, 2, 3, 4, we'll have to put it between here. So it's the S7 comma space s8 comma space s9 comma so now we added that in we have to go down to the bottom and you'll see these right through here one till five I you, you might be thinking well there were six commands but uh, over here it works that it goes from zero to five so this would be one like S1, S2, S3, S4. So then we just go down here. Uh, just go up to highlight when uh, when 5, end game, all the way till scene equals scene and dot new. Just copy that. And copy. After the end dot new, just click enter. And we'll paste it in three times. I'm just going to click control V and then enter V enter V. And that's where the new three uh, things that we added in. So so it should be five and then six which would be seven seven which would be eight and H which would be nine. So now that we have these in you can just apply and OK. Then, if we run this, uh, uh, we should see that we have more options in the menu. So, if press Escape. We'll see that there are more options, but we have these boxes in front, and it, it looks really ugly. So. What I'm going to do is take out the step count. That's uh, the equivalent of three of these. And I don't see anyone who really actually cares how many steps they've taken. I think the playtime and the gold is really good enough. Even the playtime is not really relevant. So just X that out. And then go back to your script and the scene menu. Then we're going to go find we're going to go take out the uh, steps counter. So just scroll here and we should say the steps window just highlight this little section and delete just apply and OK so 
so now oh we'll get this error because there's one thing that we forgot to take out so if you go back to your script you'll see it's not up it's updating the window it's not there so we just take the steps window update just delete it and it should be good now so now the steps window should be out so now we have the steps window taken out but now we want to move the playtime going down so we can still see the rest of the menu so we just extra that go back to the script editor go back to the playtime window and we're going to move it on the y-axis that's going vertical so then this usually takes a little bit of trial and error seeing what goes better but I've already done this and I find that the number 320 works really the best so then just update okay so now that we play it press escape and now we have this whole menu but the buttons that we put in don't do anything so if we go to journal it's just going to give us an error because there's nothing defined for it let's go back to the scripts and then you go back so journal was uh, yeah. journal was seven so we're going to look at number six here this should be the journal so if I put in the journal script I would just rename scene equals scene at journal dot new and then it should bring us there I won't show you how to do this in this tutorial I will upload a separate journal and party switching tutorial and I'll show you how to implement these in the game uh, knowing how to do that again will also with many more and I'll also show you how to make a load system in the game but for now this is what I'm showing and uh, rate, comment, subscribe and I hope you enjoyed